If you want to sew multiple copies of a design within the same field, such as for sewing patches, like in this large 12 inch by 12 inch hoop, go to the main menu by pressing the button in the lower right corner and go to setting. Go to the second tab over and you can see settings for multiple copies or what's called auto repeat. The first blank is for the number of columns of that design. In this case, we're gonna take this design and sew two columns and three rows of it for six copies. So we'll set our column value to two. So that would result in two of these sewing side by side. So far you see no changes, but now we'll also set the number of rows, which we said to be three, so we'll set that. And then what we'll do here is we will set the gap between centers. Let's take that number and make that um, and make it slightly bigger than that original value. Just add 10 to that. So 106. And now you'll see a little bit of separation here. Now you see two clearly defined copies. And you can Im increase that as long as you don't, don't go over your hoop area. Now just do the same thing for the second value, which is the height. Set something greater than 19. So let's do 29, for example, adding 10 millimeters to that. Now that we've set 29, you'll see that with the three copies, we have a 10 millimeter gap between each. Uh, so that's our automatic repeat. And the last blank, uh, we'll set whether you want to set it so by row or so by column. And that's your auto repeat feature. You can also now center the design in the available hoop in the main screen. Uh, just simply press the center button. And now you can see the original copy and how it's going to sew uh, the different copies of the design in the available sewing field.